feedback is hurting. All right, we'll put this here. Put this here. Hey, liquid. That was fast. Hi, Tyrael. Okay, let's see here. No real plans today. No, no real plans today. Hey, Prince and Magran and Jaw and Notch and, and Vision. So, my honor run was... I think I'm actually doomed for honor. Um, I made it to top 16, but I got knocked out. Because at this point, it's so critical what your team order is. That there's just not much you can do about it anymore. So until my third team starts to get, like, decent... I think I'm pretty much doomed for now. Man, I lost to that? Wow, I lost the second... What? Yeah, Bold has 19 million. I'm actually having trouble with this team. I was trying to... I was trying to beat this in promotions and I couldn't beat it. And I'm not entirely sure what I could have done differently. Uh, Guppy, it has not. It's only been... It's only been... Um, six days? So let me see, he's got 26 speed. And I've got 25, so I lose. And there's not much I can do about that. But even then, I mean, it's not like I did badly. Look at this. Ah, oh, he killed my Skuld. Ah, and then he killed my Brin. And then he killed me. Which hero is the strongest? That kind of depends on what you want, isn't it? I mean, what are you looking for? Strongest in PvE? Strongest in PvE? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I just ran over something I didn't want to run over. Hey, Anriban. Anirban, sorry. Wrong Twitch title. Wait. Twitch game is wrong. The, the title should be... The title should be right. Hold up. Yeah, no, the title is right. The game is wrong. <clears throat> is my voice sore? No, it's not sore. This one I was going to lose anyway. So honor is way harder now. Like, even your winning team may not be a winning team anymore. Scold for hit rate rune? That depends what you're... And high jerky. Um, no, I just started, so you didn't miss anything. Hit rate rune, see, that only matters if you, d on who they're tanking with. Like, Veg, Veg's dodge is not super bad. If they're tanking with Sigurd, Sigurd actually, I found out that Sigurd's dodge is pretty amazing. I don't know why. Oh, it must be because he's a wanderer. Because he doesn't come up with any extra dodge. But I've noticed that he dodges quite a bit. Mm, jerky, you'd be surprised. None yet. Rune for Hodor, hit rate. A notch, I don't bother going on the Tap Tap Facebook page. Wait, how much rune, how much dodge does the Wanderer get? Not there. Wanderers get 30% dodge. Oh, that's pretty good. That must be why. I have noticed his dodge is really good. As far as putting Skuld hit rate rune though... It gets very iffy on that one. It's probably fine. 
Attack is more like a default. Attack is like the safe one. The other thing that you have to worry about is speed scold is still also a thing. And speed obviously doesn't come with hit rate. So, remember that this is the same problem that Drow had. And this is why she slowly got phased out is because she just couldn't hit anymore. And her skill would miss, her attack would miss, everything would miss. But the thing about Scold is at least she doesn't need to hit the enemies when she fires her skill. She just has to fire and hit something and then the, her healing doesn't, isn't affected by it. Whereas Drow's is more offensive. My pets do have dodge on them. Wait, actually they might not. Let me see. So this one has 14. This one has 15. So they both have speed and they both have dodge. But it's really hard to... It's really hard to afford this. So I haven't tried a lot. If she misses her skill, I think if she misses her skill, it fails. Like, the whole thing fails. Let me see, who does she hit with her skill, actually? But sh her skill hits all enemies, so it's very rare for her to miss the whole thing. It's rare for her to miss her skill. Her regular attack, the problem is everybody can miss their regular attack. That's why Mulan stopped even Veg so much. Because if Veg can't hit Mulan, he'll never get energy to fire his freeze. It is a problem for him. But Mulan has not been... Mulan alone is just not enough. Uh, notch it depends on if you need speed for scold if she need if you need her to fire faster than like their Their scolds or something on defense or you need her to fire faster than some other heroes then speed is fine That's not something that's better for everybody Yig taunt yeah, but nobody likes yig anymore And then yig's dodge is not super high either it's natural 25 plus whatever. But you see, the answer to that then is all you have to do is reroll these and get a hit rate one. If you can get hit rate on your pets, it's, it's fine. I just can't seem to do it. But that is the answer if you want to go that way. Hi, Brutak. Why won't this chair... What happened? Wait, that's not right. Wait, what? No, why won't my chair... I don't want the chair to recline. Oh, there we go. Uh, I did not re-roll until range was max. I re-rolled until I got speed and dodge. I think I did manage to max out hit rate and defense on the way up. But I didn't, obviously, I haven't maxed out everything. Uh, Patrick, I think that whale decisions like that I can't comment on because I will never experience those. So if you're asking about Eternal Flame and Eye of the Storm is I have no idea. The thing is, I just rolled, I wanted speed and dodge. I just rolled until I got that. Whatever the third one was, I had to just take it. And so, it happened to be crit rate on this one. I can't afford to keep going. And so it just turned out that it maxed out hit rate and defense on the way up. I didn't purposely try to max these out. But you can kind of see how many times I re-rolled to get to what I was looking for. Oh yeah, did I get a... Come on! Why? Why? 
What is this? It's been like half an hour and I haven't gotten one. Look at this. Look at this nonsense. If I can crit, I can buy two cans. I really don't think too much dodge is overkill. Am I pulling for Brin? I will pull for Brin. But that's because I have this many keys. Look how many keys I have. So, I can afford it. I can afford to pull one, maybe two rounds for Brin. Not that it's going to help me that much, because I only have... What is it? I only have one extra copy. Well, technically two. Because of this one. Better to pull for Scald? How are you going to pull for Scald? How are you going to pull for Scald? Oh, I can pull Diamond Keys. Should I do it? Scald is 7%. Oh my god. Remember, Scald was the up chest. She was not the key reward. Pulling for Brynn as the key reward means a... A whole lot more than pulling for someone as the up chest reward. And I mean, I guess I don't need the Hodor copies as much. Let me see. I got one, two, three, four. Nope, that's not it. Nope, that's not it. Five, six? I could have six Hodor copies. That's not bad. Okay, let's just pull the Elite Chest. Whatever. How much... Alright, let's see here. I'm gonna predict one Shoot and one Vivienne. It's not what I want to predict. I want two Skulls, but I'm gonna predict a Shoot and a Vivienne. Yeah, Qua, how long you want to wait for that? You want me to wait two years before I pull again? It's a terrible idea. Waiting for specific hero in keys reward is just the way to quit the game. Two drow, take it or leave it. Okay, Notch, what is Shuld? That's a mix between- that's a hybrid between Shud and Skuld. That is... That is two different heroes. So Shud is S-H-U-D-D-E. But you're writing Skuld, which is now a hybrid between the two of them. If you're telling me I'm going to pull a Skuld and a Shud, I'll take that too. I'll take that too. Alright, let's do this. Two Shuds. Oh god. Please no. Come on. Skuld! ay 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 Drow. Okay, okay. Come on. Wow. It really has come the day that I'm disappointed in getting Phoenix. I am actually disappointed in Phoenix. That hurts. That hurts a lot. So I have what? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I already have seven copies of Phoenix. And that's after I got rid of nine of them and converted a, a T4 Phoenix away. Oh, uh, wait, but isn't he 7%? He is 7%, right? Oh, he's 10%. Oh. Yikes. Alright, well, I hit the semi-rare one. I'm already using the Phoenix skin. That's what this is right here. I don't even care about Hodor and Diamond Keys. 
Like, I have six copies of Hodor. I can... If I really was aiming for it, I would work on it later. What I actually am struggling for is fodder. Like, look at my alliance fodder. I don't have... I have one fodder. Unless I just fodder Watchmen. I still feel like Watchmen has potential because he is still good in Void Boss. And I'm keeping all the Valkyries because, you know, maybe someday she'll get fixed. So I'm waiting for, like, I'm waiting to pull gold keys because I really need the, I really need keys. Or I really need fodder. I'm actually burning through my uh, my four star shards. Do I buy extra food? I only buy this one. Wait. I only buy this one. I do not spend gems on the on the events. No. I mean, I will be happy to pull for Bryn. I. I could use the copies and I need to pull. I'm going to do at least one round for Bryn, but probably two because I think I'm okay. Yeah, no, I don't buy, I don't spend gems on the events for extra shards. Like, my gem count is very low. Viv, Hodor, Kurtz, Gold, Aegina, Bale. Probably Kurt. Kurt or Bale. Potentially Bale. Oh, four stars for a million in the shop? Wait, what? Where? Oh, it's these. No, I don't buy these. Should we do a community keys for Bryn? Bryn, I think people will actually pull for. If I pull two rounds for Bryn, I'll still be able to pull three rounds for New Hero. So I think I'm okay with that. The one thing that I, I'm worrying about is whether or not I can afford to start buying keys again because I haven't bought keys in Planet Trial for a long time and it feels like I could have more keys than this. It feels like I should have. Three rounds of keys is 1150. Okay, so I got a can today. All you people keep flexing on me like, like I can't turn it around. I actually got the can today. Let me show you. I haven't done this one yet. Three rounds for Bryn. All right. So, you think we can go? We can go. We can do a community keys for Bryn. All right. Let's go. Oh no! It's this one. Oh no, oh, I missed it. Oh no, I missed it. Oh no. Okay. Oh, <laughs> why? All right, fine. It's my alt. I don't care. I don't care. It is 50 cans to fully level a pet up from zero. 50. 50. Five zero. That's how ridiculous it is and so I got five plus this guy is 80 so I spent three so I got eight come on give me one thing what is going on what is all of this stuff that isn't a flower? Oh my god. I want one flower. One flower. Look at this. Just one. 
Also, um, I'm not going to make it to buy two cans because two cans is 36. And if I pull five, I'm just going to have 35 and I will not get a hundred between now and the end. So I'm like, I'm not willing to spend 10 bucks to get one yellow can. That's, that seems very painful. Like, bare minimum you can spend is 10 bucks. Stay on screen? I already did my auto-clicking. That's I don't really want to stay on the screen. Pull single. It's not luckier, though. It's more chances. Five chances at 10%. Versus one chance at 20%. Well, let me see. One chance at 10% times five chances at 90%. How does that work? Nine times nine is 81, 72. What are the odds of succeeding one? I am not seeing anything. This is a giant fail. This is a giant fail, so that's not going to work. So, I, that's why I like to sit on this screen, because I don't want to sit on that one. Alright, chance of success from one try in four. Okay. Point nine times point point nine times point nine times point one is six point five percent. The chance of one success is six point five. Hi Mamad. I don't know. I, th I feel like the 5x chance is luckier. Man, I don't even care who I take. Alright, let's see what I can get here. Wow! Okay, so I'm not getting that. Okay, so I can just skip this hero. Jerky, it's because I waited two days. People came to grips with their decision. Well, it's five wheel tokens versus one key, so I guess that is better. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, it chose my pets for me. I was like, I didn't remember choosing pets. Alright, so my goal is to get to the shop. Alright. Oh, wow! Oh, wait, no, that's Hawkeye. I forgot the icon for elemental force. Oh, this guy has two Verthandis. Did I finish all the faction quests? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I finished all of them. Fifty-two million damage with T1 Arwen. Arwen does a lot of damage. If you had had Elemental Force and you built around that, you could have done more than that, probably. Bale damage with Ragnarok versus Gaia Bulga. The bubble? What's the bubble? Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, I don't have that.
Hmm, how can I... Oh, he's got a Brin now. Dang. Dang. Alright, what team do you want me to try here? Ragnarok is better than Gaia Bulga, yes. What he's trying to say is that with too much defense, Bale can't puncture... Uh, can't do enough damage with Gaia Bulga. Alright, let's see here. If I want to fight this... Who do I replace with Bale? Let me try and find another team that I can fight. That may be a little bit less... Okay, so we'll try this one. Oh no, his pets are terrible. Well, okay, whatever, this is fine. That means that I can use lesser stuff. All right, so we'll just try this. Chessian needs energy. Uh, if you have like one or two mythic tiers of the goddess and a bunch of fast people, then Chessia doesn't. Okay, so Bale did 4.5. Because 4 remember that Chessia gets energy from everyone else firing. So if somebody, if you can convince, or if you can control Chessia to get energy from other people firing before her, she doesn't need it. But because you cannot bank on the enemy, it becomes tough. I mean, her damage, his damage is pretty reliable. Uh, Gum, you can just treat final damage like attack. Just count it as the same thing as attack. I mean, his damage is reliably very high. Let's see how much higher it goes with this. That one is okay because Hodor did all the damage. Well, so the thing is, oh, yeah, 5.2. That's the highest we've seen. Remember that if you're having four people fire before Chessia, remember how her thing works. Her skill stops them from gaining energy when they get hit. But if she fires too slowly relative to all their heroes, then you lose a lot of the effect. Oh, he got wrecked here. What happened? How does Bale work? Bale gets energy back as soon as anyone hits zero life. So even if they revive from Skuld or if it's Sigurd who doesn't completely die, as soon as they hit zero HP regardless of what happens, Bale gets full energy again. And so therefore, he starts a fire, a skill, or a chain, sorry, of firing over and over and over in a row. And he's very strong because his skill does HP damage. Uh, I'm not building my team for Giant Lizard, so I'm not really... That's not really what I'm comparing right now. I'm just trying to see, like, the range of his damage with one versus the other. Is he good with Arwen? Oh, okay. So the top end is better. But it looks like he still does quite a bit of damage with Gaia Bulga. This is the highest that we've ever seen from him in all the ones that I checked. Uh, Subarus, that sounds a lot like some voodoo junk that I don't subscribe to. I mean... Why not wait till the third day of the event, look at the mirror and say red rum, red rum, red rum. 
and then pull your keys, and maybe that'll do better for you. I'm not going to do any, I'm not going to give any of that kind of junk advice. Hey, Sarab. There is absolutely no gain to pulling on day one versus day seven. Same thing for peaks. A lot of people will tell you, oh, I do better on peaks if I play on the first day or I don't play the first day or whatever it is. None of that is, none of that matters. None of that matters at all. Uh, I have 1900 keys and I have not played peaks this week. Uh, well, the other thing about Bale is he gains 50 speed every time someone dies. Or 39 speed. So he gets faster and faster as people die. And this, remember, doesn't stop or doesn't or still counts even if they revive. So you can actually get this buff like eight times in one fight if depending on what you're fighting against. And then once you get that, then he becomes super fast. Uh, Sarab, you need 1150 keys. Arwen or Det? Yes, but not like specifically so. Bale just works. He's just good, period. So he's just there for damage. Everybody, he works with everybody. What happened to my gold dust? Are you talking about my gold souls or my rune dust? My rune dust, I actually have. I should still have a million. I have a million. Uh, Sarkot depends how long you've been playing. The longer you've been playing, the less you have to have spent. Especially now, there's been so many chances to get to get Bryn Sig, like, I think that this account might be free to play. And look what he's got. This is quite strong. You know who else is free to play is, uh, oh shoot, I might not have him. Ah, stupid Giggy. He keeps adding me and then never has room on his list. If you want another example of a strong free-to-play account, look at this one. This is free-to-play. and But he's been playing since day one, just like me. Uh, Bale was never really comparable to Kurt, because Bale doesn't have the same per attack. Or doesn't have the same max damage per hit that Kurt has. So Bale was always more reliable than Kurt, but Kurt offered a uh, burst as well as uh, he offered burst as well as defense. No, I know he this account is free to play. Bale is very bad against bosses, and actually so is Kurt. Gigi is active, yes. He is still active, but he also plays on GT8. So he's got two accounts. Let me see if I can show you his other one. Oops. And both of them qualified, actually. I don't know how he plays both, but this, look at this. This is his, the same guy on GT, GH8, and this is free to play. Look, he's got a, oh wait, he didn't show it. He's got a Brin, but it's hidden. He's got Double Skull, he's got Kurt, he's got Bryn. Viv as first 10 star is a terrible idea. She does no damage. Can I show it to you? Oh, here we go. So you can see his third team has T4 Bryn with Hodor, Aegina, Chessia. So he didn't optimize this for Hodor, no. So, I mean, you want a strong account, this guy's been, this guy's got a very strong account. Very, very strong. Just depends how long you've been playing. 
If you want to be stronger faster, then then you got to spend money. Wait, can I make it? Oh no, I don't need this. Okay, then I'm just going to go this way. Debt laugh first 10 star is fine. Wait, oh really? Hold on, is that true? I did not know they showed the incomplete ones at the bottom. Oh, you're right. Okay. Let's go find out. But I know for sure he's free to play. I guarantee you he is free to play. Right here. Yeah, he's been around since day one, still free to play. Uh, there was a period where I had trouble beating him, but now, now I don't have problems. And if you look at it, he's com not fully competitive against me, but he's still very strong. Oh wait, what is that? Oh, that's so junk. I don't need that. Alright, um... Joe slash I'm first place in Den of Secrets on my server. Alright, you know what? I'm just going to use this. I don't even want it. He probably... J so... The thing about... Arson is the first guy that created it, he maxed out the guild mine fast so anybody that joined this guild a little bit later never had the chance to donate it was maxed out fast and then it didn't matter because the um the achievement was added later these are all stupid i don't want any of these all right oh so uh envision you ask about good things in the shop this is probably the best one I like this one. And this one is okay too. And then they have flags for 100 and gold keys for 100. Those are fine. I don't really need flags now, but... Does therapeutic increase healing? Hmm. It should, because the healing... The amount of healing they receive directly affects how much damage they take. So if the amount that they are being healed is affected by the the, the pet skill, it should change their damage. Okay, so you have T3 Veg, 10 star Brin. Uh, Notch, you should finish Veg first. Tall, that's fine, but don't go too aggressively on building a lot of 10 stars because it does cost. The fodder cost is very high. At that point, it's better to focus on Detlaf and go and try to take him to T4 first. Oh my god, these runes are so bad. These runes are so bad. Oh, maybe I should have taken Poison Nova. Ah, uh, Can I still do good damage? Hey, Raynell, you didn't miss much. These runes are trash. Oh, yeah, I got it. All right, that worked out. Finally, Elemental Force is the only rune that you pretty much need to have if you want to do damage. 
Oh, what did I get? Curse of... God, I don't want that. Oh, well. Uh, so some guy asked about getting 10 wins in peaks, and unfortunately, that is really, really just luck. There is some... You can check out my tier list and use that to pick heroes, but a lot of it is just heavy luck in what heroes you get. You cannot force 10. Oh. I guess I'm going to take crit damage. Two elemental forces do stack. Two bales... So the thing about Bale is, you need to get a kill before he starts. And Bale himself isn't necessarily good at getting the first kill, because his single target damage is not actually super high. So you do have to think about that. Okay, now I'm going to change it over there. Well, I'll change this first. You do have to think about that. So that's why he works well with Kurt, because Kurt gets ramped up so high that he can usually get the first kill. Arwen to Bale, huh. Remember that Bale can get stopped. He's so slow. The chances are very high that he will be crowd controlled for before he can actually start to do anything. Wait, what the? What the? You! You! You thief. Hi, Jova. As far as where my gold souls went, they all went into this hero right here that I messed up and I can't even use yet. I'll have to do something about that. I'm waiting a lot for when the new hero comes out because that's when I might do it. I might do it. I just don't have copies yet. So you get this. Okay, not that one. So this requires some work. Okay, Arwen, I have Death Break. Okay. What's wrong with Ultima? One Ultima is not major. Okay, so you get poison. You're fine, you're fine. But the other thing about Hodor, Kurt, Aegina, Bale is Ho Bale can never get faster than Hodor. So he works, but he doesn't work with speed Hodor. Or with Hodor at full speed. Okay, that should be fine. This one changes into a... Into a, one of these. Or actually... Yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Hi, MTG. Why do I need... Okay, Mulan is not there because I need to dodge. Mulan is there because she has bleed. And because I have elemental force, I need him to be bleeding, burning, and poison at all time. In which case, I'm actually going to change uh, this one to also be poison, just to make sure that he's always poisoned. When you are using elemental force, you need crit damage. Crit damage is fine, but remember, if you already have 126% crit damage, if you add 30% to that versus adding 20% true damage, the true damage will be better. Okay. 
Bale also bleeds and does more damage. Uh, I mean, sort of. There's one other thing you gotta realize. And this one, this one actually is a little bit more advanced, but the boss gets stronger every time he dies. And if you're gonna do a billion damage on your first hit, he he dies so much that he actually gets very very strong in the first fight. This one is is uh. Let me see if I can show you if he lands a hit. Like, I've had people, I've had fights where he's killed, like, four people on turn one. Or on the first fight. So Mulan is just safe. Also, because uh, you can't heal, you'd rather prevent as much damage as possible. Although, I guess you're not really. Because you're not energy denying. I had terrible runes. What did I have? I had crit damage, and then I had two junk ones. No, I had Hawkeye Master. I had a Hawkeye Elemental Force, and then some junk one. Oh, crit damage, and then this one was like silenced or weakened or something like that. It's fine. Alright. So that's that. Now we get rid of you and you. We run you and you. No, not you. You. Star Shards on Vivian is amazing. We change you to this. We change Chessia to... I don't know. We'll just give her this. We put Veg back. The reason Star Shards is good on Vivienne is because it gets her, her her defense going as fast as possible. And adding 15 defense to the team at the start of the match uh, completely ruins all their regular attacks. Now, if they're firing a bunch of heroes at you with Ragnarok on turn 1, you can do nothing about it. But most, most people aren't doing that unless they are Mega Whales. I mean, I guess I could use Bale for the first one, but I don't think it I don't think it's all that major. Bale or Aegina, I don't think it's major. For the first fight, it may add what another 50-60 million. Honestly, you will not see people hitting you with Ragnarok skills turn one before Vivian fires unless they're running unless they're running um, Ultimas it's impossible to get people with Ragnaroks faster than Vivian without Ultima two sig already no the second one was the loner it's not mine well it's mine but the game gave it to me I have zero copies towards a second SIG. Alright, so 97 million. Okay. That's not great. Actually, wait. What are his buffs? Doesn't he just take damage from... Oh, what the... These are... These are not good... Def These are not good. Oh, well. Wow. So my repeated hits only do 80 million damage. This sucks. Viv versus Bryn... T I don't really like Bryn tanking in PvP. It's very unreliable. Because so much is just up to chance in PvP that... Um, you'd rather not risk it. Oh, what is that? Like five hits already? Actually, I can count. So 92 million. All right. So my damage is 1.2. So I've done five. Wait. 
I've done eight, six hits. I've done six hits. Six hits past the first one. So I did the first one and then six times so far. Hold on, let's count. Seven. Clerics for hit rate rune. Up and down. You can. If everybody's going to focus heavily on dodge, it may start to be worth it someday. But I don't think we know enough about the direction of the meta to know what everybody is going to settle on with their pets. That was nine. Nine hits. Ten hits. Eleven. Tw oh, now I'm dead. So I lasted eleven hits before dying. So, good enough. I mean, are you really suggesting that I use Edison? This, this Edison right here, this one? I really don't think that this guy is going to help all that much. Okay. Well, actually, did I get it? Oh, I got one. Woohoo! Bold also has four skulls. Um, at No More Love, honestly, I think it's a wash. Whether you save for artifacts or you buy red cans, Either way, whatever you choose, you have to stick with it. Alright, let's go with just five single ones then. All I need is one crit. Just one crit out of five tries. Nope. 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 Ah. Fine. Be that way. Be that way. Better odds, they say. Jeez. <gasps> that cost all my gold food. I have none left. Okay, well, now Pasteur is level 120. But I can't level this up. Oh no. Oh no. Where am I going to get this? Miracle Eyes or Gold Pet Food. If, if you want to optimize, you need the Gold Pet Food. If you want to... Earlier players probably benefit more from the Miracle Eyes. But I think it's safe to say that the, mir that the Pet Food is just going to help most people. You got 30 birds? I mean, 30 birds for free is... 30 birds is fine. The better order for spending gold pets levels or potential... So, the thing about the stats is the stats are huge. But, the other thing... A drink... As in, my voice is hoarse, or I need an alcoholic drink with $5? Oh, well, I crit once on this. I don't think, I don't know if Void Cage is worth buying gold food. The amount you get is not a lot. Okay, well, if I'm not making it to the second can, which I won't, I do not get, you do not get 100 more. From now to the end, we're probably going to get about 70, 80 more max. And so the minimum that I can spend to get that last 20 pet food or the last 20 flowers is freaking $10. $10. Alcohol? <laughs> I could crack a beer right now. Oh, Teddy. Teddy's tail is swishing. Okay, okay. So, with that being said, I'm going to go for gold food. I would... 
so the cans only matters if you want to be competitive in honor because if you see what's in honor and you look at the kind of pets that you got to fight if you want at least an advantage on your third team or anything or you're fighting everybody that has one maxed pet on one team and one max pet on the second one um like you look at teams like this if you want to be competitive in honor you need pet you need pet potential and you need levels and that's gold food or like so can't no what i meant to say from that was cans cans become very very critical but if cans are not your bottleneck and you're stuck at having too many cans and not enough food then you got to buy food they're both going to come at similar rates anyway you're not going to have enough of either one so i think you can just pick very cleanly between which one you need more at at each level um did bold max einstein yes he did yeah see einstein is maxed wow he's at 20 million He made a Monkey King again. Jeez. I don't know how SR got so strong. This team is really, really hard to beat. And I don't know why. I have not figured out why. There's actually a lot of teams I'm struggling with. I struggle against his. I also struggle it against For Fun. this guy this team is really hard to beat i was only able to beat it with my own azathoth i could not beat this team without azathoth did i challenge his team there's no point in challenging bold at the point where you don't have two maxed pets, it doesn't even matter what his potentials are. If his level, if he has them at mythic level potential, you lose. Like the stats that they give are huge. The levels, the amount of stats that they give are huge. Uh, it's just gigantic. Like look at, if you look at, oops, not you. If you look at the stats on this guy, 94,000 HP versus this guy, which is, or no, this guy, 500. That's humongous. That is so humongous, the difference. So for him to have that much stat difference over you is just gigantic. Uh, Srikant, I wouldn't. I would save for new heroes. New heroes is the most efficient way to get heroes. So this is actually really cool that I managed to reach this. So I have a 120, that's nice. It'll help, but not a whole lot. Anyway, so as I was saying, I'm going to use this and buy gold food because I need the gold food anyway. And I have five birds. Okay, I'll buy one eye. Good enough. So what did I have? 35? I wasn't going to make anything here anyway. Dog food every collection event. I really like that it's here and not purple souls and gold souls or gold and purple souls. I really like that they have all these new options for collection events. It shows that they are at least listening a little bit to what we want. At least a little bit, not enough, but every little bit helps. And um, I just don't think that this is worth it. You do not, you do not get 12,000 per week. You get like 5,000, 6,000 maybe. And so to spend into a humongous deficit is gigantic. Srikant, I don't care what you have. It's more efficient to pull for new heroes than it is for, to pull for Bryn. 
Uh, Jova, I always think it's worth it to pull for new heroes because they could end up being OP. As far as what I bought in Secret Treasure, I bought all of it. I had to scrounge for the gems. I didn't have enough until like day three. And now everything is adding up again. Uh, Bow, that's what it's there for. I try to keep the tier list updated so that people can always be using it. That's kind of why I moved it into Google Sheets where I can always just update it and people always have access to the latest version rather than like releasing a fixed spreadsheet or like an image that people will send around and then you have no idea if you have an obsolete version or not. But yeah, I don't I don't think it's best to just waste void coins. Like you have no idea if they will someday add something to this to make it worth it to buy in there. I have no idea. It's very possible that, you know, in some major update they'll add some hero in here or something. Um Lightning looks like she's not going to be super strong on her own. She's probably going to need some help because she doesn't stun the heroes naturally as well. She relies on making them into that shock control effect and then something else can stun them. So she will have to be fast. So we're going to have to see how that's work. When's the last time? They have never added anything to the void shop. They have not changed this shop since it came out, but it hasn't been out that long, so it's not that unusual. That The Legion shop has never actually been updated. The Feather shop has been updated multiple times. It used to have Tesla. The Guild shop has been updated. They've added a few heroes, I think. I think like they added Veg at some point. Luck shop has changed because they now have um, red three gear soul shop has changed here and there not much so they've messed with the shops like even this shop changed a lot like when they added all of these purple and gold deals the deals used to be terrible for the purple and gold in the shop and now they're decent so they do work on the shops here and there. Lightning is an improved version of Tesla. Maybe. Be the other thing is you don't know the stats. She could be really buff. She could be really hard to kill. She could be really fast. Or she could be none of that and be trash. And we don't know. We, we just have no idea. All right, I need to fuse a bunch of six stars. Wednesday, yeah, okay. So my fuse is going to reset on the last day of the wheel event, which means I do need to finish this because keys will not reset in time. Um, jerky peaks is not enough. Peaks is enough to get you like... 300 ish keys in three weeks that's like barely enough to keep up with one brown so if you don't skip and you pull okay so let's say next next week you pull a hundred percent of your keys for Bryn okay let's just say that you pulled yourself down to zero if you never buy any from planet trial and you only rely on peaks then the next key event after Bryn, you will have barely enough to pull one round. Maybe you won't even make it enough. But, so now, let's say you keep going from that. Let's say the hero after that one is the new hero. You will have barely enough to buy two rounds. So how are you going to make it to three rounds for new heroes consecutively without buying from Planet Trial? You do not get enough keys from peaks to keep up with that. So if you have gems to spare and you want to push for new heroes, because for a while, 
for a while they were releasing heroes every other key event so it would be new hero bait new hero and in order to get three rounds for consecutive new heroes like that you have to buy a ton from planet trial not just a little bit a lot if you're okay with not max efficiency on heroes then you don't have to do it just buy a couple here and there but you don't have to worry about it too much hi nick and bulgari um Irfan ultima is actually a very solid tank however you are not using ultima as a tank you are using ultima as a support because when she fires her skill she increases the speed and attack of your backline and that is very critical uh is it legit that brin will be in next gold keys well as far as we know she will be but there is always a chance that it could change the devs can change anything last minute So as far as we know, but this is not guaranteed. Even though it's here, it's not guaranteed. So up to you. You can assume that she's coming, but it's okay to take it with a grain of salt and think that she may not be. So I prefer to play that way and go, well, if she's there, I will pull. If she's not, I won't pull. Nothing more than that. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay, so I just bought two of these. All right, I want a diamond key. I'll take a diamond key. Okay. What are the odds on that one? Oh, shoot, where do I see it? Can I still see the odds without owning one? Yeah, I can. Okay. So what did I get? That was 3% and 9%. Eh, nothing great. Eh. And Envision, I get it about buying flags. Like, I kind of don't mind buying the flags. But I feel like by the time that I start needing them again I'll worry about it at that point because like I'm getting so many from planet trial hey Moomin what did I got I got 21 today that means in 10 days I get like 105 flags Um, Junior, you'll get every... Th oh, wait. You mean this one? You will get these for six days into the next week. You'll get them every day outside, or you will get them for seven days after you buy it. So you will get this today, and then you'll get this six days more after that. The only thing that matters that you buy it during the event is if you need these extra Miracle Eyes to be able to pull. Otherwise, you can buy it the last day. It's perfectly okay. Uh, the lower class or not, everybody, everybody should have been able to push 20 floors on Planet Trial. With, without any sort of difference, just because of pets, everybody should have been able to push 20 levels on every single Planet Trial. 10 at least but likely more like 20 in some cases more okay moomin you are the first person to legitimately ask that and now is where we start needing a red box because this question is one that
because this is why I didn't stream on Monday, by the way, because I knew this question would come up a lot and I didn't want to answer it. I still don't want to answer it. I still do not want to answer this question because it's not my choice. It's completely up to you. I don't care what you do, but make sure that you are happy with the choice that you make. Uh, hijacked, Viv can tank, and Sigurd can tank. Okay, so Junior, this the way that these have this always worked is you would get 2200 day one. Tomorrow, you will get 200 plus a Miracle Eye. The day after that, you will get 200 plus a Miracle Eye. So buying it now at at any time, it doesn't matter if you bought it first day or last day, you would still get 3400 gems and 15 Miracle Eyes. But you will not get all of it at once. You will get the next ones over the next six days. So again, if you bought this on the first day of the event, you would have all of these extra seven Miracle Eyes in time to pull during the Miracle event if that's what you wanted them for. If you never cared about that, then you were buying it for these flowers, in which case you just buy it now. Moomin, I don't know. That's not my choice to make. It's your choice to make. I like pulling for new heroes. My advice is save for new heroes. That's always going to be my advice. And... Okay, there we go. We'll add another line. I, I will always recommend saving. So don't ask me. Because I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear. If you want to pull, you can pull. If you don't want to pull, then don't pull. I'm not making that decision. Uh, Zachary Bryn is... Bryn is, yes indeed, teased for the next keys. I have no idea when Bryn will be in Moonshop. Nobody knows that. They typically add add heroes to Moonshop and Diamond Key during big updates to the game. And there doesn't Oh, actually, you know what? They're updating War of Mana. Which is probably gonna come next week or the week after that. Most likely the Moonshop will be updated then so whenever that war of mana update comes is probably when it's going to get updated entirely possible I, I have no idea they're very unreliable with that because they've released like micro patches that up that i think when they added hodor to moonstones it was a micro patch that just didn't do anything major it was small bug fixes but I'm pretty sure for everyone else, it's been during a major game update. Okay, back to what I was doing here, which was... Uh, hijacked Sig does die fast, but guess what? He revives instantly. And every time he dies, he drops their attack, so it's not so bad when he dies. Think about that. I need to T4, or I need to 10 star really next. The update is some stupid stuff in Guild of Mana. They're, they're making it cost stamina to evacuate, which completely destroys things. But they're also making it that when you rob people, you get 30% rather than 15%, which is nice. They're making it so that there's like going to be a notification when something happens, and I don't remember. Let me go take a look. It's mostly a bunch of dumb stuff that nobody cares about because War of Mana is dumb, but... Um... Bao, if I could pull three, croppy, three rounds of Brin and still have enough for three copies of the new hero, I might. She's good enough to duplicate. Alright, let's see here. Can I screenshot this? 
Let me see if I can screenshot this. I don't really know how that how that evacuation is going to work. Oh, is that a, wait, is that how it works? Evacuation costs only if you own the tower? I didn't know that. I was wondering why sometimes it cost and sometimes it didn't. Okay, so this is what they are adding. So they are... It looks like they're going to change it from just the top two guilds on the server. It looks like voting is going to become a little bit easier, so you can see more when you're voting. Um, quests during the War of Mana seems weird. I don't know how that's going to work. Notification of tower status is okay, whatever. Um, they're changing bosses to- they're changing their stats, their rewards, and the rewards for killing them. They're changing the bet amount, which I guess is not so bad if you bet. And I'm not sure what this tower pre -fun preview function is. Um, jerky, I don't. I buy them if I think that I want to pull during wheel event, but I typically do not buy them. Although, I do kind of want to buy them this round. How many do I need? I need 99. Ooh, I don't know if I'm going to make it. 110. I need 16 wheel tokens. Where am I going to get 16 wheel tokens if I don't spin the wheel? Oh god, but I want if I want to spin the wheel, I need Oh, I don't have enough time. I need I need to buy like 50 wheel tokens. Hmm, I might buy some this week then and try to make it. I might start buying wheel tokens. Um, okay, let's see here. Alright, take it easy, Bios. Wow. Oh, wait. There's five here. There's five here. Okay, so that was ten. Okay, that's fine. Alright, Ibishek, now that you've asked that, the it's going to be delayed for two more days. Just because you've asked when Bryn is coming to the moon shop, it's been delayed again. Okay, so that was 9. So I bought 19 just now. That puts me at 134. Um, uh, Jova, actually, if you look on the Facebook page, somebody did, um, somebody did ask for some sort of a chat function because the chat in the, in the mode is pretty much dead. You need 200, but you don't need 200. You need 160, uh, 167. No. How many did you need? You got. 33 so 167 I think is what you needed on the first day So I need to buy 30 more so I have seven days to buy 30 more. I should be fine. I Will be fine The problem is I need to get to 99 wheel tokens in order to do it and so to get there Oh 170 oh shoot I was off by 10 all right well seven days to buy 40 is easy you can buy nine a day. Plus, if I want, I've got two. I've got three more here. I just redeemed all the rest, but... It'll be fine. It'll be fine. What I don't like is that you told me I would get a crit here if I pulled one at a time. You lied to me. You lied to me. 
Anyway, the other thing that I'm worried about is that I need 99 wheel tokens. 97. I need 97 wheel tokens. You got an update? Let's find out if I did too. I just did too. Let's see what this update has. 333k. This is the one thing that everyone wants to know. No, Bryn is not in the moon shop. And... No, Hodor is not in Diamond Keys. What did I buy from the shop? Which shop? Alright, so I need 97. I'll have to play Peaks! Ah, I have to play Peaks! I don't care about that. How many do I need? I need... I need seven wins. To get a... Mm, hold on. So I messed up and I lost the one from the shop here. So I... Oh, wait. No, yeah, I messed up. It's gone. I could have gotten one for 200 gems. Okay. Oh, there are 200 gems here, too. Okay. Uh, oh, I could buy two more. Ooh, this is not bad. This is not bad. Oh, that's it. Honestly, I can crack open the beer now. Yeah, I'll be right back. I'll go grab one. It's old beer, actually, because I don't drink it very often. Daddy. Is this a twist off? Tell me this is a twist off. This is not a twist off, is it? I'll be right back. Okay. Drunk stream. You think I get drunk off one beer? Nobody gets drunk off one beer. Super wishing coins worth 200? Yes, they are worth 200. Okay, so this is cranberry cider. Now, it is cider, but where is the percentage? Okay, I don't know if you can see this. Nope, wrong way. That's not going to focus, is it? It is 5.4% alcohol. So slightly more than a beer. And so, can opener, or bottle opener. Oh, don't tell me that was a twist off. No, it wasn't. Okay. Cranberry juice. It's just juice. Takes me like three beers at least to get buzzed. Um, why do you save? Because of this. This yellow can at 60 is why you should always be pulling. If you're going to pull, you should pull to this and then go past it to this. Cheers, guys. So the reason that you even... The reason that you even pull to 30 at all is because of this skin shard, right? And so the reason then to pull for 110 is because of this skin shard. But now that this has been changed, this is... This is major. To get this can. Uh, this was added... It was added last wheel event, so two weeks ago. 
two weeks ago this was added. It was uh, it was a pretty shocking thing when they changed it. So absolutely, this is something that you should think about saving for, especially with the 10% discount. So it takes you 99, 97 to reach there because of this. So 97. And as you can see, I need two more or 10 more. So I guess I'll play a couple of round of peaks. The star is going to be for, I'm going to use it for red cans, but this also updates every, what, month? So you can only get one red can a month from this, even if, and it's, you can't even reach, you know, I'm not going to reach 500 points every single month. That's not going to happen. So the red cans are just going to be very, very slow. All right, if I can get a seven or an eight, I'll be happy. Oh boy, this is already looking terrible. Hey lefty, this is already looking pretty terrible. It's supposed to update with every wheel event, is it? Oh, so it's three weeks, not a month. Okay. Wait a minute. Are they taking damage back when they hit her through the shield? They are, right? None of you guys are taking damage back, you jerks. Um, okay, so a red can, you actually can't buy them, I think. I'm not sure that you can buy them anymore. The wheel shop is the only way to get them reliably. But once you buy one and use it to upgrade your pet, they will start throwing at they will start throwing packages at you. So um, you see like they do the limited event packages and all that, the two hour packages. Once you buy one red can, they will start throwing them at you and it goes down to like 50, 60, 70 dollars per red can. I think as low as 30 towards the end. So, oh, what is this? Damage reduce. Oh, this is a tank one. All right, I'll take it. Yeah, they won't offer you, they will offer it to you when you upgrade Einstein the first time, I think. The first round of peaks, well, you can see I have 28 points. So I got, what, a 7? Right? 7? 8 is like 32 points, 30, 35 points. 9 is 45, 10 is 55, so this is a 7. Hey, Vandette. 30 with... Uh, yeah, quad, don't you want the red can- don't you want the red cans? Like, are you legitimate- or the yellow cans, I mean? Yee. Yee. These are terrible choices. Okay. No, we're gonna keep you. Toss Tesla. PCR testing. Don't those come back in, like, a day- they come back in a few hours now, right? I hope you come back pos or negative. This is gonna be a, a nice five run, by the way. But yeah, aside from that wheel shop, there are no ways to get red cans right now. It's pretty dumb. Hey, Ivan. These are not good options either. Yellow can for 20 tokens. Up to you. Yeah, it's not my choice. I I have been so unlucky with yellow cans that I need them. I don't like any of these choices, actually. Nope, that wasn't better.
Oh, they are definitely way faster with testing here. It's same day all over the place. I don't know the speed because I haven't taken a test in months, but it's absolutely same day everywhere you go. I don't really like these options. All right, well, we'll get to four or five. Oh, we got to five. What are these hero choices? Ah! Um, anyway, yeah, I have such bad luck with can- Oh god, died at five. I have such bad luck with cans. That I absolutely need them any chance I can get. Alright. Oh, I stopped Lorelei. That's pretty big. Come on, let me get to six. Yeah, okay, I got to six. Alright, can I get to set? Ooh, that doesn't look good. That doesn't look good. Oh well, whatever. We'll just get to... Nope! We died at 6. Ahaha! Ah, that is not how you get advanced tokens. Uh, positions for heroes and peaks depends on who you're fighting. Like, if they have a Lindbergh, you kind of want to tank in the back. If they have an Azathoth, maybe you want a bubble in the back like Aegina. Otherwise, safer spots are in the front. Oh, speaking of Lindbergh, speaking of strong heroes. Oh, I should have taken Grand. Oh well. I should have taken Grand. Like, best position for heroes is completely dependent on what you're fighting, what you're getting. Banana Bender? I've never heard that term before. That's a funny term. Buying... What from Peak? What's Kets? Okay, come on! Ooh, that helps. Oh, what's this? Speed... Speed HP hit rate. Okay, okay. Okay, that helps with Akash a little bit. That helps with Akash a lot, actually. I typically... And the other thing is, because a lot of heroes share the same speed, um, you may or may not want to mess with their order. Like, Akash is the same speed as a lot of other assassins. So if you want him to give his buff to other assassins on your team, then you want him to be earlier in position than them. But if you don't have other assassins, then, you know, it doesn't matter quite so much. Completely depends on... Ooh, hoo, hoo, nice. Akash needs HP, he needs speed. Zex tank. Ah, Zex tank is kind of a desperation thing. If you're playing a full assassin team, Zex is one of the better tanks you can make in that, but it doesn't mean that he's an amazing tank by any means. But if you know that people are going to die, then he will heal. That It's really great. But if you're like focusing on a slower kill team, then he's not going to do that well as, as tank. Alright, make it to three. The new speed artifact, yes, it gives 50 speed, and that's the highest that you can get on a single artifact right now. No. Oh, okay, I'll take that. Uh, yeah, Tyriel, that is exactly correct. Oh, yes! So
So Akash and Aiden, I believe, share the same speed. I believe. 646. Six, oh, no, never mind. But like Walnir is 638. And Conrad is 638. So these two have the same speed. Therefore, if I do this, Conrad fires first. If I do this, Walnir fires first. That is exactly how it works. And I believe if you have a tie on their team, it will go... So if they have a tank at the same speed, Walnir will go, then their tank, then, then my Conrad would go. Aiden tank, really? When does he, doesn't he only heal when people die? Akash has the same speed as a lot of assassins. I believe Ripper is the same speed. Um, I'm not sure about Puppet Maid and Werewolf, but I probably the same as like Amy or something. Oh god. This I need to get rid of this Conrad. Ripper might be similar to like Aiden level. Aiden's pretty fast actually. So, which is also why I chose to give uh, Akash speed because now he's faster than Aiden and actually it makes him faster than Lindbergh which means that when Akash fires even Lindbergh gets a bonus it's not as helpful right now because Lindbergh has energy but the concept was there at least Lindbergh's regular attack on turn two will get the crit bonus I don't like Kurt here but he's better than Hurts better than Conrad, at least. Uh, Somia Deep, remember pets. Remember team order. If you have the exact same speed, offense goes first. Otherwise, pets often give a massive difference because of the potential. Hey, Ashley. Kurt back for burst damage. Mm, oh. Maybe. I don't think I'm going to use that one, actually. I'm not going to use that Kurt. Uh, Caleb, yeah, it depends on the rest of your team. Without knowing anything about what you're attacking it with, 180 is not easy, but if you have Bryn, it's easy. Ouch! Oh my god, am I gonna lose because of stupid... Nope. I killed Aegina. Whew! That was close. That was close. Oh, well then. Thank you very much. If they gave T4s, the tier list would be four heroes. I, I think that that just doesn't work out. Who would I tank if I were to run double Kurt, though? Bam! Sig tank Sigurd is gonna die. I need a sub tank be below him and I won't have one. And I'm not falling for you people that told me to tank Kurt before. If I take out Aiden, I lose my Halo. Might be worth it. Ooh. You really think Aiden, huh? You really think Double Kurt's gonna make that much of a difference on this team?
Oh my god, he's got two Brins. Why do I even try? Veg, Phoenix, Kurt, Agena, Hodor for 180. Um, Double Kurt does it. Arwin does it. One Kurt is kind of iffy, I guess. All right, so this Kurt did not get Gargoyle. This might hurt you. Well. Oh, come on! Oh, if this Kurt got to fire, some something would have died. Well, this is dead. Fine. Monkey King is okay. Oh, crud. All right, Akash goes out. Ooh, in that case, we'll give you the speed. Because it does give him that. Bye-bye, Akash. Let's go! This is like a generically strong hero. Yeah, Monkey King's a mediocre hero. Nothing special. He's fairly strong, but not, like, amazing. Alright, double Kurt goes... Bam! Bam! And kills one person. Alright, fine. It's fine. Alright, what would I want, actually? I just want plus attack. I don't really want that. Mm, let's go for something a little bit better. Okay, fine. We'll go with that, because it goes on you. And give this to you, because it gives him this. Kurt being good in peaks does not affect buying him in secret treasure. Kurt backline or frontline. So the thing about that is, so you're using, is that your six heroes? Veg, Phoenix, Viv, Kurt, Aegina, Hodor? I don't think Hodor, Aegina is all that good in peaks. It's really not going to help in, it's really not going to help at all for 180. It's not going to help at all for Planet Trial past 180. I made it to 10. Yes. Whoo, what a weird team. Double Kurt really clutched that one out. Wow, but look what happened here. Look what happened here. Oh no! Ashley, that's terrible. That is so bad. Alright. What do I get for that? Two? Three! Oh, I got three! That's a lot. I just need a couple more of those. Alright, we'll take Paladin for tank. Landlady. Oh, okay. This team is already going to be interesting. Alright, 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 alright. We'll mess with this. I could have taken Witch Doctor for the Cleric buff, but Witch Doctor sucks. Also, I have a very bad weakness in that I like Saizo in Peaks. He lets me down more often than not, but I still keep choosing him. And I don't know why. It might be like a... It might be a mental issue. Like, I just keep... I see him and my heart just goes out to wanting to give him a chance. I mean, his damage is not bad. He's just not good at later rounds. Okay, fine. He's just a very mediocre hero in peaks. Alright, we're gonna dump. No, Landlady has stun. You have stun. Alright, well. Mulan. Mulan's also not good for Moonlight. I 
I would say your options are not good. What you really would love to have is probably like double viv, double curt, veg, veg, or something like that. That's probably a better option. But you don't seem to have any of those kind of options, so it may be a little bit tricky for you. I'm going to keep Saizo. There, it's very possible that someday he'll get fixed. Nobody knows. You don't know. then now we're doing some good stuff i kind of want speed though mm, no, i'm gonna put it on vivian i understand that i didn't have to put it on vivian i could have put it on pastor but vivian's healing will be this is built to be a sustained team so why not Um, well, fix is a strong word. <laughs> they, they fixed him. And by that, I mean they completely broke him and he, they made him even worse than he was now, than he was before, so... Yeah, so Caleb, if you had Veg, Kurt, Kurtz, Viv, Arwen, or something like that, you could probably do it more easily. But since you are forced into using Hodor Aegina, I really don't think you can do it. You don't even have Phoenix, huh? Phoenix would help a lot. The reason that you choose a 30 of this artifact oops, is because, oh, come on. These artifacts come with 335 attack. An, eight, an 88 artifact comes with 8.5% attack. And let me show you the difference. If I have 8.5% attack on here, that's what? 150 attack? So, choosing an 88 artifact gives me 150 attack, whereas choosing this gives me 335. That's a massive increase. That is the same as 20% attack. So, in terms of pure attack stats, this is much higher. So, I'm not using it because I want... Uh, oh. I'm not using it for the extra damage to warriors. I'm using it for the pure attack stat because an 88 will give Vivian less healing power than her skill. So basically, I'm just increasing her healing by like 200 or something on all people. It's a very it's a minor amount, but you know, why not? 149 now to make 200 by next miracle eye? yes easily you have honor don't forget you have honor betting still so if you place decently in honor plus you have tavern and fuse reset you'll be fine why do i keep light kid he stuns he attack he protect But most importantly, he die. Uh, Caleb, do you have an 88 assassin? Because I would say... 
Vet or Viv, Phoenix, Kurt, Veg, Agina, Hodor would be your best lineup. Uh oh. But if you had an 88 assassin on Kurt, it would be way easier. Uh oh. I died. Oh, he had Saw, that's why. Keys for three rounds is 1150. Okay, then. We will take that. We will take that. No, you were supposed to gargoyle her. Guild tech and peaks, it does not. Uh oh, my Kurt is dead. Oh, this is a loss. I think this is a lot. Wait, I killed his tank. Oh, I killed Arwen. I might do okay here. Now just gargoyle somebody and we'll be great. Oh. Alright. Friends don't let friends pick veg and peaks. I guess that's your answer. You don't need Mythic Tears of the Goddess. 180 is absolutely doable without it. Um, I use Artifact... I use Bone Grip on Mulan. What was I doing? Did I already take something? Yeah, he's already got one. I really want an energy right now. Didn't get one. Okay, so this one we take because, again, 335 attack. Oh, gosh. I really want an energy for Vivienne right now. 200s in Planet Trial without M3? Yes, they are absolutely doable. There's a bunch of people that are doing it, but you do also need a very good... You need either a lot of patience because you're going to be trying a lot, or you need to have a Brin. If you have Brin, you can get to 220 in a lot of them. Uh, okay, so my my team is Mulan, Bone Grip, Dodge Rune, Vivienne, Speed Rune, Energy, Hodor, Oracle, and Hit Rate Rune, Chessia, Speed Rune, Energy, Aegina, Speed Rune, Energy, um, and Skull Attack Rune Energy. Oops, I don't have anybody to refresh. Okay. Okay, fine, we'll take that. Wow. Hmm. This could be bad. This could be bad. If his Lind oh his Lindbergh doesn't have energy. No, she didn't get a bubble. Ah, uh, this could be bad. Yeah, and she didn't gargoyle. Ah, uh, well that sucks. Ouch. Ouch. And I'm dead. Oh well, got to eight. Yeah, if Bryn had gotten a, a shield on turn one, I probably could have won that, but I didn't. Oh well, nothing you can do about it. Yeah, it's a hundred percent. I would have, I would have won that. Rune for Drow is the trash can. Well, I still got two tokens. That's great. Uh, Chessia with hmm, Chessia is fourteen sixty seven. Hodor is hey Shadow Beast fourteen twenty three. 
How much does the snake drop? 30? 25? Twenty-five. So yeah, she's still faster. A Gina, however, is not. So actually, now that I think about it, I should change up the order of my team. And I should do... Oh, I don't use a Gina anymore. If I had a Gina, I would swap this and put a Gina in the front. That way, Hodor is slower, but... I gotta think about that. I don't really mess with that too much. Alright, alright, I got five to- wait, no, I got- Oh, I didn't see- What did I get? I got a six, a ten, and an eight. So I got five tokens. Alright, alright. Five tokens, not so bad. What are these hero choices? What are these choices? They are trash. We are dead. This is not going to end well at all. Alright, this is a good three team right now. We are going to get to three. Oh, that helps a little bit. Take it easy, Qua. Thanks for stopping in. Alright, alright. Take a little bit of this. I mean, my team was basically built before Bryn and Sig existed, so. Oh, when you are in the middle of a Peaks match, you cannot see your record. Only when you're not in the middle of a match. Ouch! Battles do seem long, because it's not very strongly burst-oriented. But you also have low chance of dying because if you're on offense, Sig tends to make... Sig tends to destroy a lot of things. Oh, wait. Why is my curtain back? He should be in front. Oh, well. Whatever. Thank you. Thank you. Go away, Bomb. Never liked you anyway. Bomb was not my friend. Alright, now this is a good six team. Man, I can't imagine what it would feel like to get drunk off one beer. Oh no! Radolf! There was a guy that was talk that was commenting on my tier list. Oops, he died. And saying Bale is S tier and peaks. But, um. Getting that first kill is hard. Ooh. Oh. 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 Uh oh. Uh, Jay, I will be, yes. Alright, 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 let's go. I want to get rid of Radolf, but I don't have a better tank just yet. I'm waiting... Okay, well... Yeah, okay. Alright, now we need to really replace Radolf. With... No. You know, <laughs> when I see these, these two little guys, now I think of the pet quest. Because you see so much of them. Now it's like, oh, I kind of want to click on them again. But. No, none of that is a tank. I need a tank. Speed, speed. Okay, we'll take speed. I need a tank. But yeah, for Bale to be S tier, it has to be, like, not easy, but doable for you to get that first kill and start the whole bail cycle going and getting that first kill is not easy it's absolutely not easy like if you if you're fighting a warrior team you're screwed 
Do I have enough support for Zex? I mean, the point is that... Oh, now I do. Now I do. The point is that... Um... Radolf was a wasted spot, so I might as well tank with him. That was my thought process. <clears throat> if you can level up pet potential, it's huge. But even if not, like the stats alone are pretty significant. Ouch! Whoa, why did his Kurt fire so fast? But Kurt firing fast is not the answer. Mm, let's see here. If Arwen can take out Drow, I'll be fine. Alright, yeah, I'm fine. This is actually a pretty... Oh my god! Bye-bye, Shude. Oh my god! Wow, that is... All three of these heroes are amazing! It's gotta be Lindbergh. It's gotta, it's gotta be Lindbergh. Like, Hodor is amazing. Zexanoth is amazing. But I just feel like... Lindbergh does it. But now I really want an energy. Energy! No. Speed. Speed, 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 speed. I don't really need speed. Oh, I think I'm going to take this one. Lizard is good, too. Alright, whatever. Fine. Oops. There's a lot of cho There's a lot of good choices here. Oh! What? Uh. Ah, okay. Whew. Was almost afraid. Double Hodor is really good. Oh, I just got you. God. I didn't even get to use him. Oh, wow. That was... Nope. That was almost amazing. That was almost amazing. All right, well, that's dead. Speed for Scold is okay. It's not great. That was really cool because Lindbergh targeted both Valkyries with his skill and perfectly missed the Valk, but then Val or the Brin, but then the Brin got got her skill off anyway or got her bubble broken anyway. I didn't see what broke it actually. Ouch. Whoa, nobody died. Oh, wait. You are starting to fall apart, sir. Zex. Yeah! Bale died. All right, we're good. We are good. All right. I really want energy. Oh, Ragnarok. Well, I did want energy. What does Valk do at five stars? She doesn't reduce attack, though. She only reduces attack at T4. She just is damage at that point. But it's hard to really build a team around Valk because unless you oops, unless you know for certain that you're like trying hard to build the team for her, 
you wouldn't normally go out of your way to choose all that all those Valkyries on your own. Oh, this is easy. Uh, I'm gonna drop Kurt. Hey, Albon. Oh, I see. Okay, so Valk stacks. I'm gonna drop Kurt. I feel like for this team, dropping Kurt is the way to go. Hi, Joshi. Wait, maintenance reward 400 gems? Did I get that? Oh, I did. I like how someone just asked if they fixed keys, as if I could tell you that from... Hmm, cleric or cleric? Yeah, okay, whatever. I'm gonna drop Kurt. Oh god. I don't know if this is the smartest idea, but it shouldn't it should be okay. But I might be in trouble because of Lindbergh. Oh well, we'll see what happens. Uh Caleb, that's amazing. Okay. This is fine. Okay, I stunned Hodor, which is not ideal. Oh Oh no! Drow died! Oh, I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, I won! Wait a minute. How did I win that? Scold front? Uh, yeah, but there was too many things going on. And Scold doesn't have energy, so... Alright, what happened? Alright, so my Drow just straight up died, but I killed whoever was here. I think it was a Hodor. He killed my tank. Hodor died. So he was left with Kurt and Monkey King, and that's over. Holy cow. Lindbergh. Lindbergh went off. Lindbergh went off. I can't give up Arwen. Arwen's so good in peaks. She's so good at that, like picking people off. Lindbergh's so good in peaks. Grr, how dare you? All right, all right. I feel like I don't want to play anymore. The next five are just going to be trash. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. How many does that put me at? Oops, that's not what I want. 95. I only need two more. Easy. 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 So let's say I buy the red can. I feel like that is my second red can ever. Oops. Always. It's so annoying that I have to get to familiars from here. Because there used to be a. Oh, wait. <gasps> I thought they took that away, but they didn't. I'm dumb. I need three. So getting one isn't going to be major. Hmm. So I need to get this, though. This is important. Yes, I am dumb. They removed it for a little while. There was a period of time where this was gone. Okay, I'm not completely dumb, just mostly dumb. I am okay with that. I am okay with that. 
every single time I've been going to here and clicking this to get to familiars. <sighs> now I can do it. The big part of that, and this is a this may be a minor thing to guys, but staying on this menu to be on the familiars means that you cannot be interrupted by goblins and monsters. Whereas if I am here clicking on it, the goblin and monsters can appear right here while I'm doing things and it can throw me off. But being able to do it from here means I'm guaranteed to not have to see them. And to me, that's major, but you know, I don't know. People don't always have the same priorities as me. Um, advanced wheel will cost nine. Oops, game reset. So, the discount is here. Abishek. Abishek, I'm glad you asked that. I'm glad you asked that. It turns out I have the answer. Right there. I don't... I feel like they took it away at some point. Okay, so, anyway, let's see if I can do this. Oh, let's see if I can get to 180 very quickly and show Caleb. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, I don't have a second veg on this account. Okay, fine, whatever. I feel like it wasn't there at some point. Uh-oh. There was at least some point where it wasn't there. Hey! Valk does not have energy. Okay, well, so much for getting to 180. Wait, why do you have this? Why do you all ha Oh my god. Duh. This account doesn't even have Arwen. I wish I had Arwen, but this account is struggling a bit. Yes, I was checking menus in my sleep. That's gotta be it. Oh wait, this account does not have 88 mage. Only Assassin, Warrior, Wanderer. Okay. Wait. It's the wrong one. Detlaf could be interesting for 180. Uh, Lighty, you can do that. That would be fine. Oh, wait. This team. Hmm. No, we'll come back. All right, I'm gonna do something different on this one. Oh, I do have an 88 mage. What? I didn't even realize. I've been thinking about converting this Valk to a second Vivienne. I haven't decided. Uh, jerky, every planet trial key after 65 is where it costs a- What the hell is this? Go away. Oh my god. After, you have to be past 65 and then it drops to 125 gems per key, which is cheaper than the shop. Before that point, it's cheaper in the shop. Oh 
Oh my god. Olivia, how can you do this to me? How can you do this to me? Olivia! Ah! She has turned on me. Oh god. Detlaf is dead. Olivia has turned on me. Oh, come on. Okay, so he's hitting mage. Okay, in that case, I'm going to change this. Detlaf is hitting Olivia first, so I'm going to give him mage. And I'm going to give Kurt warrior. That hurts, Vendette. That hurts. I have to believe that my love will be re reciprocated. Oh god, you did no damage. Oh, wait a minute, what is my- Oh my god. What is this? What is this? Why are my pets dumb? Death by Love the sequel. That is pretty major to lose this. All right, one down. Two down. Three down, four down. Five down. Six down, all right, there we go. Just not, just using the right pets makes a pretty big difference right there. Okay, so, hmm, Ripper is a second T4 is okay. He's probably fine. My god, Bryn is first T4 is amazing. That's ridiculous. Oops. Okay, what is 179? Oh, this one's just annoying. This one... Actually, I need to pay attention. Who is Detlaf gonna... Detlaf hits lowest HP? So I actually can't control who Detlaf hits right now. If he hits Bale, that'll be great. No, he hit Detlaf. That's still fine. Ah, yeah. My whole team got silenced. What? Says the guy who's pulling gold keys. Who is the dum dum here, Bios? Answer me that. Wait, there are one, two, two mages. Oh, okay, fine. All right, so if Caleb is still here, well, this is. Oops. Whoops. Let's see if we can do this. Alright, so we're going to change you to an 88 assassin. Um, going to change Detlaf to, well, I don't know who he's going to hit, so we'll just keep him on a Gaia Bulga for now. Actually... Okay, why not? Let's see what happens. Alright, alright. Silenced Freya, or 
froze Freya. Oh god. Freaking Detlef had to go after Mars? Okay, Kurt's dead. So this is bad. Okay, let me see. How can I do this? What I can do is this. This may help. Drow food or save. I like to save her because I still feel like she has at least a chance someday of getting fixed, but it's impossible to know. Hmm. Is Arwen better than Arwen is just more reliable than Detlaf. Oh god Oh no. Okay, so Skuld took Skuld's Revive. Mm, I think this can win, but I'm not... I think Hodor needs to change. If I change Hodor, I have to figure out a new strategy here. Like, Hodor for a second Vivienne could be pretty interesting. Which, I don't have a second Vivienne right now. But I can make one really easily. Oops. I need Bryn. Yeah. You know how high the Bryn is? Oh, this one looks good. All right. Shit, gold. All right, give energy to Kurt right here. Okay, that's fine. Come on! You could have at least killed the... Okay, Freya died. That's good. Progress. Oh, God. Phoenix gave energy to himself. I think Hodor is my ens is my problem here. So I'm going to get rid of Hodor. But for who? I guess it has to be Valkyrie. I don't have other options. I kind of want energy on Valkyrie, though. I want to drop their attack immediately. Oh, well. Phoenix gave her energy. That works. Okay. Ouch. 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 Oh, God. Kurt died. Kurt never even got to fire. Should I just make Vivienne? Would that help enough? I'm really unhappy with Kurtz or with Detlaf right now. He's not he's not hitting anybody or he's not killing anything. And Veg just or Detlaf keeps, or Kurt keeps dying. Oh, I don't have a chance at this anymore. If Kurt dies right off the bat, I'm done. So what do I need? What if I try this? Now, if I have the Vivienne for safety, then the Kurt skill damage reduction probably is bearable. So now my, so now my whole thing is I need to keep Lindbergh controlled. Lindbergh must be controlled. If Lindbergh fires, I'm in trouble. Like that. If Lindbergh fires, I'm in trouble. Try Aegina. Mm, Aegina is just going to end up dead by... By... By uh, Monkey King. Uh-oh. Wait. Okay, okay. Okay, my turn. Bam! Okay, Mars ate the revive. We're doing good. We're doing good. 
Debt laugh is silence. That's bad. Debt laugh is gonna. Oh. Okay. Oh, I think I'm dead. I would have had that. If I could have controlled Lindbergh again, I think I would have been good. At this point, it's like kind of just whatever. I still feel like Aegina is just going to straight up die to Monkey King's damage, but... Bam. Okay. So Skull just ate the revive. Mm, I know if I retry a bunch of times, I can do this. I'm pretty sure this team can do it. I will say I'm very disappointed in Detlaf on this. So actually Hodor may turn out to be a better option than Detlaf because Detlaf has seriously not landed a single kill. And now you're dead. Detlaf has absolutely not done anything for me right now. So this is starting to be a... If this works, this will beat 190. Hmm, okay, that worked out pretty well. God, but nobody's got energy. Oh, killed Freya. Okay, if Kurt fires. Okay, we're still doing good. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. What I'm doing here is putting Kurt in the back to make Aegina stronger. What I might do instead is put Hodor in front to make him stronger, but I haven't decided if that's going to be better or not. Oops, Aegina died. That was... A, no, you know what? This can do it. So let's watch this like five or six times, and I guarantee you this can win. Like, we know for certain that this team has an, has the chance to win if i can get that close then all it takes is one lucky crit and you're done now is when you need the alcohol oops kurt died so this is like we know we know that this can win oh wait a minute what if I put the 88 assassin on a Gina? Detlaf or Hodor would amplify that, right? Is that how it is that how Hodor works? She he would take all of the extra damage that she was gonna do to Detlaf or to Lindbergh and and Zexanoth and multiply that, right? Is that how that works? I'm actually not sure. But then again, she also does want energy because it's very hard for her to... She is very slow. Hmm. Actually, I don't know what to think about that. 
If anybody knows the answer, please let me know. Oops, Kurt's gonna die. Kurt is dead. Like, I don't know if that's the way that I want to do it. Actually, let me mess with my talents. So Vivian would want T1 HP. Veg would probably want T1 attack. Kurt, I think Kurt's talents are already fine. It's not a matter of his skill cap. It's a matter... Oops, Mars. Oh, shoot. Ah, oh, why couldn't you have given energy to Kurt? Kurt would have killed something. Because I... It's not a matter of his cap. It's a matter of how he calculates the damage. And I believe the way it works is that he calculates all damage as if it was coming from the hero. Meaning he uses their death break, their attack stat, and everything. The only thing that matters is the, the hard cap at the top. So if his attack is high enough, then I can still add more attack to it before they... Before he fires. Oh. So I think that I think that, that should work. 88 should work with DOT, yes. So I'm gonna give you 88 warrior. And I'm gonna give Aegina 88 assassin. And let's see how well that does. Now we gotta watch Aegina's da or Hodor's damage. Hey, Alex. Oh, man. All right. He did eight hundred thousand. That's quite a bit of damage. I don't know if that's his cap or not. Anyway, so we know that this can win. You think Seelin quit? How did? How do you know Seelin quit? He played Honor. He won top eight and he won the top eight spot in Honor this week. Although I guess he didn't have to play to do that. Oof. Although it did seem like he was getting very nasty in the Facebook group. He was very, very upset with the admins. I saw a couple of his comments. Phoenix, you need to stop giving energy to yourself. That helps nobody. Alright, now you can give it to Kurt. No, you can't. No, you can't. You're silenced. As far as who is silencing them, um, Zex silences with his regular attack. Teddy, what's up? Okay. Oh, that didn't do anything. Uh, he's just been upset with the devs not responding to anything and being very money hungry in their in the events. Same thing as always. I really would love to beat this on stream, but I don't think I'm going to be able to watch enough fights to know. I'm not liking that Phoenix is giving Hodor energy and he's firing early before anything happens. I'm really not liking this. No, the point is that I don't think he quit. Oh, that's so annoying. That's so annoying. Ouch. Okay, everybody's dead. Is that... I mean, I could auto-click until this wins. This is really good damage. But Monkey King is not even reviving. But yeah, if he's still posting on Facebook, I don't think he quit. 
Although, I don't know. Can you can you search? Let me see if you can search posts from him. I forgot what his name was. Demetrios? Yeah, it is Demetrios. How do I see posts from him? Oh, wait. Is this doing good? Mars just ate both revives. That's good. And I'm dead. So I can't... S How do I see posts from him? Is that a thing I can see? I mean, I get that he wants the devs to do things. That's fine. It's just that... Oops, Teddy, what's up? I don't think that being violent to them is... Oh, wait, he says he's taking... What? He just said he's taking a break for two weeks. That doesn't mean he's quitting. It has nothing to do with him quitting. That just means he's taking a vacation. Everyone needs a vacation. Okay, Aegina's not doing well without without energy. Hodor is firing without Aegina's damage every single time. And that's not good. Okay, so that's not going to work. Aegina needs energy. In that case, Kurt goes back to 88 Assassin. Hmm. Let's change this. Change this to this. Oh, is that what's setting off? Is that what's setting that off? Okay. Veg's poison may be affecting Hodor a bit. Okay, so Hodor just did 839 damage, or 839,000. That did increase his damage quite a bit. Oh, Teddy is right in here next to me. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Why are you petrifying everybody? Have I gotten good pulls in a while? Hmm. Okay, so he did 839. So 839 is either his cap or... Oh, he did a million damage to Freya. I wish that meant something. Oh. Ah, oh, Kurt keeps killing himself. It's hard to say cuz my miracle eye pulls have been terrible. And I haven't pulled keys in so long that I've forgotten what it feels like to pull keys. Okay, so yeah, 839. How much life do they have, though? Oh, come on. Oof. Did I get a scold? Okay, then, yeah, I guess so. I just forgot what I got, that's all. What if I changed Kurt's T3 to Reflect? I 
actually, let me think. Can I raise... What if I did this? If Hodor is in front... Wait, no. What does he raise in the back? He only raises skill damage. That's not that useful. That's not that useful. Mage crit rate. Alright, take it easy, Alex. Thanks for stopping in. I don't know if this makes a difference. This should increase everybody else. So if it increases Aegina's damage... No, it's still A39. A39 might be his cap. Okay, things are looking good right now. Things are looking very bad right now. Okay, so I don't know who revived. I think nobody revived. You think they're going to mess up Alliance again? Man, if they do, that's bad. Wait, why can't I see the posts in this group? What is this rooms? Topics? What the hell? What the hell? When did Facebook turn into this Reddit type thread thing? What the hell? How does this even work? How does this work? Oops, Hodor died. Oh wait, Lindbergh's dead. Oh wait. Oh no, if Vivienne's dead, I'm dead. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. I need Vivienne to stay alive. That actually is the biggest issue here. Vivienne needs to stay alive. Is there any way that I can keep her alive longer? I don't think so. I think she's got as much support as I can give to her. But that means for sure this can win. That's not the first time that I've reached that. Now, I could auto-click this until I win, but I don't... Oof, he did only 100,000 damage. That's fine. Okay, so now, for certain... No, he's still silenced. Nope, and he's dead. Oh, man, that's so great! Tank with Phoenix? That actually might be fine. Because since I don't have Scald, it's okay if Phoenix dies early. Reroll some pet stats? What are my pet stats? Speed... Oh, this one doesn't have good stuff. I could reroll Pasteur's stats. Your alt got Chief's Gift? Nice. It's more important that Vivienne is alive at the end than Phoenix. Oof, I can't really do much, but okay, sure, why not? Skill damage, a defense break, attack. Defense, dodge, skill damage. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take that. That should do okay. It's not speed, but I don't need speed for this. I don't have enough pet food to lock anything right now. That's why I'm willing to just reroll everything. Oh god. I can like I have 2500 pet food. I can only reroll so many times. I didn't see how much damage Hodor just did. 
He would have stopped at the first roll. I was thinking about it, but I did kind of want speed. Eight thirty-nine. Oh, you killed Freya and Lindbergh, and Vivian's alive. What that means is, oh no, Kurt's dead. Oh my god, that was so good. Optimizing pets is impossible. There, it's You do not get enough gold food to make any of this doable. God, how do you use this Facebook group? What the hell is this group? Like, I, I do not know how to post on this group anymore. Oops, Phoenix died right away. And I'm dead. I mean, I can understand re-rolling until everything's maxed, but once you hit that, it's like ridiculous. Wait, no, I can still post. I can see posts. What the hell? What the hell? I'm so confused. Facebook is so weird. Oops, Hodor died. Teddy. Okay. If Hodor actually does as the same damage in the back, if he still does 839 in the back, then I'm just going to keep Kurt in front and be defensive. Because it looks like defensive has a... Yeah, he still does 839 in the back. Okay, fine. In which case, Hodor... Mm, actually, but then how about I do... Oh, I don't know what to do with this. Alright, so. While we're watching that, I wanted to show off something that I did just buy. Because uh, my favorite Pokemon is Sylveon. And so I got this little Eevee plush in a Sylveon poncho. It's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Oh my god. So this can win. I know it can win. I just can't seem to get it to happen. Wait, what if I put Vivienne in the back? No, because Vivienne needs to tank. Okay, so we'll keep this. Um, we'll coat this. Alright, so we know this can win. If I auto-click for an hour or something, or half an hour, it's almost guaranteed that at some point this would win. We know for certain it can win. Wow, he did 1.4 million to Mars. And now he's petrified and dead. Great! So basically the whole thing is avoiding, is just blocking their, blocking their control. A Sylveon costume. These cats don't wear anything. Right, Teddy? Teddy, they don't like wearing anything. All right. Uh, so you know what? Just for fun. Let's see how long this takes. I'm going to try this for like five, ten minutes and then we'll quit. It's going to be so sad if this wins it in like three tries. Ah, and I finished the beer. Or cider. It is cider, not beer. Yeah, it's done. I'm willing to let this go because I know this can win. If we can get it down to just Monkey King then it means that all it is is some luck. Do, do, 
do, do, do. Oh, wow. Oh, you know what? I don't even know what my alt got for... No, my alt didn't buy the $5 pack, so my alt is probably more stuck with cans. Hmm. What if I did do double Vivian? I feel like double Vivian I would want to replace. Who would I replace? Probably a probably Hodor? Would I replace Hodor? Like Aegina does so much Maybe I'd replace Aegina. What would I do? How would I how would I do it with two Vivians? God, I wish I had Arwen. Then again, actually Arwen would probably not help here. She targets Freya and then I think she targets um, Skuld. Yeah, so if I replace Aegina, Hodor does nothing. But if I replace Hodor, then Aegina does nothing. So that's kind of a zero-sum game. Hmm, what if I were... What if I turned my Lorelei into a second Vegvasir and used him and a second Vivienne? What if I did that? Oh god, it's 1030. I need to go to- I need to go. But Aegina also dies. If you can't keep her alive. Mm. Mm, do I really want to give up Valkyrie? Do I really want to give up Valkyrie? That's, that's kind of a tough one. Oh well. We know that this works. I assure you that this works. If I can get it down to just Monkey King left, then this team can win. In which case, I don't need to do anything. This team can win. It's just a matter of getting lucky and avoiding Freya's Petrify and avoiding Zexanoth's Silence. And then also avoiding Monkey King's Petrify. Which is silly because I actually can't avoid his Petrify. Because it's still 100... Wait, is it 100% at 6 star? Seven more minutes. Okay, I can do seven more minutes. Hmm. Hmm. I don't enjoy peaks, though. That's the problem. I wish I enjoyed peaks. Wait, why can't I? Where's my favorites? Oh, here we go. Searching for things to buy on Mercari. 66% chance at Petrify. And then he doesn't get the bonus one either, right? So actually, that's not so bad. I know this can win. I'm just trying to figure out what it is I need to do in order to win. If I can get this far, I shouldn't need to do anything. I should just be able to auto-click until it wins. Bitter Gourd. Man, 
How do I raise damage? Like, I don't think I can raise... I cannot raise uh, Hodor's attack any more than it already is. And it looks like 839,000 is his upper boundary. I can't do more than that. That that has to be his cap. And so I can't really make him do more damage. In that case, the answer is what? To make Kurt do more damage. And can I make Kurt do more damage? Kurt's already got 88 Assassin. I really can't do anything more than that. Actually, I can. I can make him do slightly more damage. Is that enough? If I'm banking on RNG anyway. One point nine million to Freya. Oh, come on. Bam! Oh my god, Hodor didn't kill anyone! I really expected Freya to die right there. I really, really expected Freya to die to that. Whew. Hey, Angel. I really, really expected him to die. Oh god, he died. All right, has it been three hours? Nope, two minutes left. Stream dead? Stream still seems to be okay. I don't show any dropped frames. Uh, two rounds of keys is 740. Yeah, 740. It's 3.30 for one, and then 4.10 for every one after the first. Be I mean, if I wasn't banking on so much RNG on this, I would watch more fights. But to know that, like, everything I'm doing is just... I really need it to be like a 1% thing multiple times in a row. In which case, it's not really fun to watch it every time. 70 seconds? You mean 58 seconds? Red set and everyone. I only have. Who's got red set? Kurt, Hodor. Oh, you know what? Maybe. Who has all my red sets? Hodor's got one. Bale's got it. Kurt's got it. You know what? I don't know if that's going to make a difference, though. Hodor's already capped. Well, let's find out. Yeah. Let's see if that changes Hodor's damage at all. Let's see if this changes anything. Nope, it's still 839. So it's more to keep him alive than to actually have him do more damage. Aegina's hey, already got it, though.
A Gina already had um A Gina already has red. Oh. So basically Hodor is completely capped. He's as capped as it gets. Wait, Hodor wait. That should raise his attack. It raises his attack stat. Wait, why didn't he do more damage then? What the heck? Hold up, hold up. It's 0.5% attack. He should have done another another 10,000 damage. Why didn't he? Uh, Angel, now that you've asked, it's been delayed another two days. Whenever it was going to be, you just delayed it another two days. It's the same damage. Oh wait, no. Hodor always had it. It was I just put it on Aegina. That's that was what the difference was. So it changed Aegina's damage, but Hodor's did not go up. So Hodor is indeed capped. That's a problem. So now the question is, how do I raise the cap? Oh, that's right. Duh. Bet everything on pet stats. Speaking of pet stats. Speaking of pet stats. That's another two tries. Dodge different. Nope. Skill. Nope. Crit rate HP. Oh, this is good. Crit rate. Oh, those are really good. All right. All right. All right. Those are really good. Crit rate HP and final damage. Final damage. That should be major. Wait, it was the same damage. It was the same damage. Hmm. It's because the damage from uh, coming from the, the the bonus is not affected. And he was already capped. Yeah, okay. All right, this is 0.4%, 1% is 2,000. This is going to be like 800 extra damage. Eight hundred. Oh wait, it was like 6,000 extra damage. It was like 6,000 extra damage. All right, uh, I am actually going to call it here for tonight. We know that this can win. Hodor just got 6,000 damage stronger. Um, oh, 3,000. Whoops, 3,000. I thought it was 836. It was 839. So he got like 3,000 damage stronger. We know this can win. Maybe that extra 3,000 damage is all I needed to make a difference. I don't know. We'll see. So I will leave you guys with this. Lore for Veg with attack buff. Lore, does she buff attack? No, I need the freeze. I need the freeze too much. 
that that is very critical if i can keep them stun locked or frozen freeze locked that's the answer all right guys i'm gonna call it here for tonight Thanks for watching. Tomorrow will be... I don't know what tomorrow will be. Tomorrow will be another chill day, I guess. Probably finish my Peaks runs, and uh, if I'm lucky, maybe I will be able to pull Wheel or not and get my first star. My first star ever. We will see how it goes. All right, good night, guys. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.